Hello again in another episode of Gunfire TV. Over 80 years ago in Russia, there was created a steel legend, which was very similar in looks to this what we've got on the table right now. These are made by Specna Arms, this is J-Series and the receivers are made of high density polymer. Why is the good idea? This episode will try to give you an answer. So, in the Edge series, which was uh, unleashed some time ago, we had steel-made receiver. Here the receiver is made of high-density polymer. Uh, you could think that it will make the replica flexible, but no, I am quite trying to force it and it does not wobble a lot. Of course, there is a bit of movement because it's polymer, but still, it's very uh, nicely fitted and it's thick enough to be very strong. All you see here is made of metal, so the barrel, flash hider, uh, front side, also the rear side are made of metal. The top cover is of course metal part, the receiver is high density polymer. Here you can see the gearbox, uh, we will show you the insides in a moment. Now I'll show you the insides of the gearbox, but first let me show you how easy it is to remove the spring. Before I take the gearbox out, let me present to you the hop-up chamber which is made of metal and it's connected to the precision barrel 6.03. Now let's start with my favorite part, that is piston. All the teeth are made of steel, polymer piston head, cylinder made of aluminum, it is zero type cylinder, cylinder head made of polymer, also the nozzle is made of polymer. And gears are of course made of reinforced hardened steel, don't worry to use 11.1 batteries with those guys and even a bit more powerful springs. For that moment we've got two types of stocks, one made of polymer and one made of metal. Both of them, after pushing this button, will fold on the left side of the receiver and give you access to the spring guide. Yes, this is a replica of quick spring change and you don't need to take out the gearbox, you only need to reach with a hex key inside to change the FPS, for example. The charging handle, the fire selector, the trigger and trigger guard and also mag release are made of metal. Pistol grip is made of polymer and the magazine is also made of high density polymer. 
this characteristic uh, looks is made by small logos of Specna arms. This is a high cap magazine. Now, the battery compartment is under the deck cover. This is 11.1 uh, 1200 ma battery, LiPo of course, as you see there is plenty of room for it. Just be careful when you are putting this in one piece, not to cut the wires nicely. And by some chance, I had a few mags by different producers. Let's check what is the uh, what will fit and what will feed the replica. Bolt. ENL Double Bell Saima So, as you could see, every magazine that we tried would, was able to be fitted into the replica and to feed the replica with BBs. Uh, with Saima, we had a little bit of problem just because it went uh, quite stiffly, but it did work perfectly. If you would like to check what other magazines of other brands will fit to the replica, ask us in the comments below. And while you do that, remember to hit the like, to subscribe and hit the bell. Now, time for modularity of this creation. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's a kind of joke because uh, the original is not really a kind of a modular uh, gun. Of course, you can change different parts and make it more tactical, but right now, after taking it out of the box, only thing you've got is this uh, rail on which you can uh, mount the optic mounts, which sometimes can also work with lasers or, uh, or flashlights, but that's how they did it in the original. You just need to remember that after you fold the stock, it will not be able to be closed like so if there are accessories and the mount on it. Uh, the mount, uh, the rail of course, is made of metal, just if you were asking. So, we've got polymer replica of a rifle which in a real life is always made of steel, especially as for the receiver. Uh, why? Because it will not rust. And of course, it will be much cheaper than the one made of steel. What makes it perfect for beginners, especially that we've got high cap in the box, uh, or for guys who need a replica for OP4. They are usually running with AR or something from the West, and sometimes they need to be the other side and they don't want to spend a lot of money for full steel replicas. Or for guys who are very young or very lazy like I am and just don't want to get tired uh, and carry around something that is heavy. Now, you know what J-Series are all about. Where to find them? Well, in Gunfire. See you again in another episode of Gunfire TV.